Okay guys, uh, it's been a little bit since the last video, but I'm uh, getting straight back into it. So, we're gonna go from changing this valve cover to a new painted one. Um, new, uh, but it's not actually, it's just one of the boys gave it to me for free. Um, just the main differences is the, um, the bung here is a bit uh, bigger because it's a newer 08 and the other one that I have is from an earlier generation. So, the uh, breather hose is a bit smaller so we just have to find a way to adapt that but everything else is the same so that's what it looks like and uh, as we have here it's already been used a little bit um, so it's a little bit faded from the heat for the manifold but yeah this is what it looks like don't know why I did an accent <laughs> but yeah this is what it looks like I just clean it up with some um, all purpose spray uh, just to remove some of the gunk from uh, inside the coil gallery so yeah, um, I've just rinsed it down, letting it to dry, but uh, we're just going to be taking everything apart. So I'm going to just remove all the bolts, which are 10 mils holding on, the coils, um, the grounding kit, just everything else here, all the hoses and stuff. So yeah, we're going to just start by removing it all now and then uh, we'll uh, transfer all the gaskets and uh, the rocker cover gaskets and the ignition coil gaskets, which I've already replaced. Um, before and uh, off camera so i'm just gonna be taking all the gaskets and transferring it over so kind of a two videos in one um how to do the gaskets and uh, replacing the rocker cover with another one so yeah okay so we have the ignition coils out just uh 10 mil bolts here so we have order from uh one two three four or one two three four however you want to do it just lay it out so you don't get it uh, confused have all the rocker cover bolts here they're all the same length uh, so it doesn't really matter um, though just the main body is all the same length with uh, the crush washer and um, multi-layer crusher uh, washer there and then we have two 10 mils here holding the uh, timing cover on just on the far side here on the back and the front so now uh, we just move it a little bit and lock it and as you see it's already loose so uh, I'm gonna either set you guys up somewhere or just uh, do another clip but uh, yeah we just take off the intake side breather which is a one-way valve so we just have that put it all across uh, this is the Bruce pressure vacuum hose so here you go from the uh, blow valve so we took, had, took that off two 10 mil bolts one on the intake side one on the exhaust side here just screwing back so we don't lose it and so it doesn't drop in the bloody engine and then boom the engine's gone um, so yeah we're gonna do all that and uh, lift it out and uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip and just like so you guys can see now this is the head work so yeah this is uh you can once you do this you can inspect it uh, you can tell my cams have got a little groove on it um, so yeah but it doesn't really feel with my finger now which is the main thing um, but uh, yeah this is what you can inspect you can check if the uh, if you have any really really bad scoring if you can feel it with your fingernails then it's definitely really really bad but uh, yeah now we're just going to clean up all the oils that we have on the mating surfaces and uh yeah we're going to put on the, the new rocker cover gasket and then well not new but it's pretty new and uh yeah we can go from there but uh yeah this is what it looks like so let me just grab you guys real quick got bloody oil everywhere so there's a difference you can tell that uh fitting is way way larger but uh we'll figure out how to make it work so i'm just gonna set the rock covers left to right and then i'm just gonna transfer the gaskets and here is the result so bolted it all back on just stud uh, all the 10 mil bolts on the rock cover are um, snug not too tight uh put the breather hoses back on put some teflon tape in a zip tie um, this is just blow by so it's not doing any vacuum so it should be all right uh, put the coils back in bolted it down so uh, yeah we're gonna start it and hopefully it doesn't blow up on us so let's see shouldn't have changed anything with the car on how it's meant to run so let's see hopefully I didn't mess up anything okay Now, uh, the only thing that you have to be worried about now is checking the leaks. Um, I'm not too, too worried about it because it is a semi-new gasket. Has it been ran for too long? Maybe about 10,000 Ks. So, um, you know, the gasket is still fairly good compared to what it was before. So, uh, yeah. It's 
going to let it run and uh, see how it goes. But uh, yeah, that is how you guys do it. Um, so if you guys want to change out the gaskets and stuff, that's all you have to do. So here we have an old one. It looks way better than the one I put in because it was like, there wasn't so much stained on the baffling. So you can tell here, there's very good. It's very clean. This is what it's meant to look like, okay? Um, it's not meant to be stained like this. There's dark spots that what it uh, looked like on the other rocket cover that I just put on because uh, not enough frequent oil changes. But uh, yeah, I digress. Um, all you would have to do is just take out the old gaskets, put on new ones. And uh, yeah, that's how you do the gaskets. And if you want to do your rocket cover, that's how you do it as well. So yeah, I'm going to just let it idle. But um, that's it for the video. A little simple uh, changing the rocket cover and the transferring the gaskets over. Hopefully no leaks. But uh, yeah. That's it guys, so see you in the next one.